So the next step is actually to change the home page of our application. So right now it displays the Rails route um, where it says, welcome, yay, you're on Rails, but we don't want that for our real application. And actually this page is not going to work in production. It only works in development mode. And so you would get a 404 in production if you didn't set a root route. So let's talk about the root route. The root is get request for just the slash. And in Rails, it's optional, but you can say slash about or not um, with the slash at the beginning. It's up to you. And you can also do the same, I believe, for this. But let's go and create a main controller with an index action and do something very similar to our about controller. So inside of a controllers folder, app controllers, main controller, dot rb class main controller inherits from application controller will define our index action it doesn't need to do anything and we will go into our app views create a folder called main and inside of there a file called index.html.erb and inside of here we'll say welcome to scheduled tweets something very simple, simple, and we'll refresh our page, and we won't get the Rails route anymore, we'll get our welcome to scheduled tweets now. But let's go back to our routes.rb, this works, um, and as I said, the slash is optional at the beginning of slash about, it's optional here as well, but because the root is kind of a special thing, you can actually replace this with root to main index. And that's going to be a custom uh, helper that Rails has to do the get in an empty string. And that way you can find it in your routes file a little bit easier. And changing that out to root to main index is going to still work just like it was before. Uh, but that is a little shortcut for you there. So I'm going to move this comment up here to the very top. So we still have that but I don't need to see that in my routes. So I'm gonna get rid of that comment there and we'll start adding our routes to our file as well up here.